I plan on being there. Well, I have a dream. Shall we do some dreams? Yeah. Judd? Is this one of yours? It is. I mean, I, I was just uh, curious. Like, I have we were going to play that game that you played. It involves drinking and also making the connection between Homer and the Republic. Should we be doing the other half as well? No, that won't work. No, did you, did you offer this dream? I did, yes. Do you think you're going to change the subject? <laughs> <laughs> that was a noble effort. I mean, it sounded like fun. I mean, if it awoke you up to play, then that's significant. Yeah. Yeah. You said at the end that... Funny. Whether it does that or not, you have offered this dream, yes, have you not? Yes, of yes. Too. Would you give us a word why you're offering this dream to the group? Uh, why am I doing a dream? That's a factor. Of oh, this dream? In particular, or why am I doing dreams? Because <laughs> uh, I'm hoping to see something that I haven't yet seen at a level of clarity that will allow me to overcome my problem in the way of me. Oh, okay. That, so, do you have this point? He hasn't seen enough about it to get over his problem. Mm -hmm. Yep. Unsurprising, although noble endeavor. The and is surprising because. No, no, I said it's unsurprising. Unsurprising. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because we all work, we all see more and more and more and understand more and more and more. But we, that isn't like saying one dream and it's we've understood everything. Right. So I was just empathizing with my colleague, okay. saying, I too have been in those shoes, and am now in those shoes. That's good. Yeah. By the way, the reason I'm raising this point <laughs> is that we went over the string. Oh. Uh, yes. Well, quickly. Briefly. <coughs> and I wasn't able to dream. And dream. therefore, isn't it fair for me to ask him, why am I looking at it again? <laughs> yes. Uh, and he hasn't answered that yet. <laughs> but I'll give him some encouragement. And well, um, well, it was the most recent dream that I could remember. That's true. And um, please answer the question. Um, I would have brought. I think it's important to bring with me the most recent dream I have. I have had an opportunity to go through. It. But did we look at it before? Yes. Oh, well, of course. Well, here's another answer. Because you can look at the dreams for a very long time and see different levels of meaning and because of the profundity in which they're created. And there's the mind of the dream master. Yeah. So, That's is that clear? No. Welcome to me. No. Uh, no. Ron, no. is that? No. 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 Uh, oh. Here. My colleagues uh, have the same problem I have. What's the problem? Could you make it clear? Okay. And uh, I'll stand over here and have to talk louder. Um... I'm aware that dreams are created with a level of profundity that you can look at it for a very long time and see many different layers. And um, okay, I should probably use the word um, <coughs> analogy here because of what we've been talking about. Um, yeah, and even though we've had a look at it uh, once, um, I think that there'd probably be a lot more to see. You think there's more there to see? There's more there to see. And I and also, I am curious as to why, um, when I have been recording my dream so well, since this dream, I haven't been able to remember one, um, and so that's been a puzzle as well. Mm. So uh, I'm thinking, well, maybe there is a providential uh, reason behind uh, the significance of this dream that there's more for me to see. That's helpful. Is that helpful? Right? Somewhat. Yeah. But, well, he didn't answer the question. Oh, what's the question? He asked you why you brought this dream back. Yeah. Which would mean you'd have to have some specifics in this dream to point to. It would seem to me, wouldn't it? Oh, I think so. Yeah, yeah what was it he Well, said? he hasn't had another dream since. Yeah, no. I, I thought, yes. no the, the, oh. I think Bill's point is well taken. I'm, 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 no, I'm on his side, which is what about this dream what? puzzles you? Or, um, what did you say? 
he, he did, in one way, he did answer it. He expects that understanding of the dream will open up the nature of his problem so that he can then have that problem resolved and it's no longer effective in his life. Yeah, yeah. but he also mm -hmm. said well, that was no true good. of any dream, not this specific dream. Mm -hmm. And that's what you're asking him about the as a result of that point. It's quite yeah. true. So, take a seat. Yes. Read it out loud. Let's take a look. I'm going to ask you some questions, right? Go ahead. Sit back a little bit. See the board. How long ago did you do that dream? There are eight, eight <coughs> sections in the dream. Okay. Uh, okay. If you don't have a copy, it'd be good to get one. Oh, I'll take each. Yeah. Um, I think it was Wednesday okay. we looked at it. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, uh, I've, I have come to class. I have an assignment to hand in. It's Friday, the last day of school. I feel like I'm behind. I haven't done it, this, the assignment yet. It will prevent me from getting a grade if I don't hand it in. All my years work gone because I haven't finished this assignment. Uh, in the dream, I try to create time to do the assignment. But as I sit at the computer and start trying to write it, uh, I feel I can't. There's no inspiration or good idea for this assignment and it feels weak and empty and I can't find a way of writing anything even though I start typing. I'm trying to think of what I should do. I'm doing these jumps where I kind of float back down, kind of like flying. I jump, float up and take a rock cake biscuit with uh, jam from a high shelf of stacked biscuits. And uh, biscuits mean cookies in Australia. Um, I'm jumping up and floating around the classroom. I start a jump that's kind of floating over the people in the class and I turn away so not to go over them. But right at that moment, Pierre uh, ducks down while looking at the people he's talking with. I change my trajectory to float back over his ducked head and land on the other side of him. There's less momentum than if I hadn't made the change away and then changed back to this trajectory, but I still make it over him and land on the other side. He says, that was a bit of skill, referring to his duck, uh, so that I could float over, missing him. Pierre walks out of the classroom and I follow him. There are two other people, students. Um, there are two other people, students from the classroom that wander out behind me that sort of follow us out, curious. Pierre turns right down a wide passage between the classroom and another building. It's kind of dark down that path, like dusk. He says, I'm going to that thing I said I was going to do. I'm going to that thing I said I was going to do. I stop at the intersection and watch him go. He turns around to me and asks, are you coming? And then I follow him. Would you offer an explanation of what you see is going on in the dream? Um, well, there are different parts. Um, uh, the first thing is I can't do this assignment because um, I feel I need inspiration. What about that? Um, well, if I had done a year's work previously, I shouldn't need inspiration to do an assignment. So it's interesting that it feels weak and empty and like I can't continue. Okay. What do you say? Uh, uh, I'd like... Where's the problem? Well, I wonder about that. I feel like I'm behind. That's not the problem. That's not the problem. No, see. Okay. Wait a minute, see. 
that's not getting to the root of the problem. Okay. Yes, it is a difficulty. A difficulty is not a problem. Mm -hmm. I feel I cannot. He sits down at the computer and starts trying to That's write. That's true. Are you offering something or are you looking for it hopefully to get it? Um, yeah. Look, it's all there. Okay, second point. Is it not interesting that we went over this dream together? Mm -hmm. And presumably he did see the points that were being made, but he cannot recover them now if he's reflecting upon it. Mm -hmm. Right? That's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there's, there's another problem um, with the type of goal of the assignment compared to the... Louder? Uh, so the, the type of goal I'm pursuing and getting worried about uh, with the assignment sort of pales in comparison with the activity that I'm doing, the jumping and the flying. So another puzzle is why am I, why have I spent a year um, on a less meaningful goal? Okay, someone else before we go in? Well, I've got another one. Uh, um, also, uh, there's only one person in the room who can see what I'm doing with the jumping and ducks. Um, however, I'm looking for acknowledgement from people who can't see this by participating in their assignment. That's true. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm sorry, i got to ask this, just as the camera guy. Jen, did you record this screen for yourself when you talked with Jen before? Either audio or, or anything? When you guys talked and did the dream? No. Is there any reason why not? It, uh, it was kind it of. It could have been. Well, it, it was at a meeting. Was, yeah, go right ahead. Oh, it was just like uh, at the end of a Parmenides meeting. I just happened to have it with me, um, and we sort of. He said, "Oh, somebody had to wait around or something." So he said, "Oh, give us a quick look at the dream." So I ripped it open. We had a quick talk. I became enlightened and I came back to enlighten you all. <laughs> but you, do you, so that's just because you carry around a recorder with you in case those things happen, but you just didn't happen to have it. There. Oh, I see. I should be carrying around a recorder and recording these things. I don't know. I just wondered why. Because uh, uh, in the case of amnesia like this, which I myself have definitely gone through, um, those can be helpful. But okay. I've kind of noticed before that you don't like to record them. I haven't thought about it. Am I wrong about that? Okay. Usually when a conversation with Pierre happens, 12 audio recorders materialize on the table in front of me anyway, so... I haven't thought about it, but I will if you like. No, I, I think that's good. Not if he likes. Right, mm -hmm. thank you, Nancy. But it's like, what do you see going on around here? Don't you see people who come to talk having a recording or asking for a recording? Or Yeah. And so I'm wondering, why aren't you? <clears throat> and you have thought about it, because you told me that you... That you sound funny and you sound you're kind of embarrassed. And <laughs> I thought a lot about it. Recording. Okay. Let me ask you a question. In terms of the text, the dream itself, mm -hmm. he's very clear what he's waiting for. Mm -hmm. What is it he's waiting for? It's a, inspiration. Inspiration. A good inspiration. Idea. He's waiting for, for inspiration. A good idea. He's waiting for inspiration. But he, he actually yeah. starts yeah. typing. Yeah. Is there a contrast in the dream where here he's waiting for inspiration? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. By the way, I think it's very good if any of you have gone to any school or any college that you really can't do anything without inspiration. Yeah, right. you know, I mean, that's all you need. Right? If you have inspiration. What? That's not true? 
Then what would you say about that expectation? It's an interesting expectation. What? It's an interesting, interesting expectation. He's waiting for something. What yeah. do you think about what he's waiting for? It's like a push. Inspiration. Yeah. It's going to wait a long time, uh, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Right? He's waiting before he can get in the state of mind to yeah. do his work. Right. Mm -hmm. Isn't that true? That's what everybody does, especially people in mathematics. And, uh, yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. 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 yeah, they all wait for inspiration. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's all they need, don't they? It doesn't seem very reliable. No? no. Sometimes um, they smoke pot and try to get inspired that way. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look here. <coughs> what state of mind is he in? Three, four, five. The floating. Right? Wouldn't you want to know what state of mind you're in at that mm -hmm. moment? Mm -hmm. What is it like? Um, free. Free? Come on, more. Light. Free? Uh, fun. <laughs> interesting. Um, alone. Um... Yeah, free, light, happy, no, sort of, yeah, it's a good feeling, it's positive, pleasant, um, yeah. By the way, is that what you call the state of being inspired? I was thinking about that. Well, go ahead. Um, I think the inspiration could be described as seeing something intrinsically meaningful that would uh, engage or be an idea worth exploring. I asked you, what state of mind is it? What state of mind is this? You're going to contrast it with this word you call inspiration. Yeah, it does feel different. Uh, it feels sort of lighter and less energetic. And... Did I hear you say yes? Yes, different. Oh. oh. Different. Well, then you're waiting for this stage to handle, hopefully, when you're confronted with working on your paper. Is that right? You're waiting for inspiration, are you not? But here you have it, don't you? Flying around, floating. Oh, yeah. Louder? Yes, you uh -oh. said. That wasn't the sort of inspiration I was waiting for in the dream, I don't think. Yes, please say on the question, though. Oh, yeah. That is an inspired feeling, and I am looking for inspiration before yeah. I begin my thing. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. No, they're shaking their head. Talk louder. Um, I am waiting for this inspired feeling. Yeah, I'm waiting for this to, put, to apply here. Yeah. No, no, right, right. <coughs> to apply to that. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Can I ask a question? Is, is here? Can I ask, were you thinking about this paper while you're flying around the room? I mean, no, I'd given up. He's, mm -hmm. he's in it. He's in it. I'd he's given up. Flying. Yeah. Then the, the paper is not... That's gone. It's no. gone. No, oh, okay. no, no. Yeah. 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 So, uh, by the way, uh, go back to this one question. Uh, what do you think of waiting for that state while you're writing, trying to write a paper? Uh, Barbara, that's obviously the most important state to get no. into. No? <laughs> Absolutely not. No. no. Well, wait a minute. Just that's only your view. Don? Same thing? I'll be honest. Is that curious? Why is it not? What is the best state of mind to get in? Well, you get into the work, and it, it, it builds a state within you, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Once you jump in, it doesn't work. Right. Yeah, it doesn't work to wait for the state to hit. 
But if you're waiting for that to do your writing, yeah. finish it. If it's the writing that generates that state. It's not. You're waiting for it. You hope for it, don't you? You hear what some of these people are saying? Bob, they, they doubt that that's possible. Barbara is saying that doing the work will create that feeling. It will build that feeling. I said getting into the work will build a, a state of interest and whatever about it, right? Getting into it. No, not that, that's okay. For it. But if he's waiting for the inspiration, what would you say about that judgment? I would say he'll get very old and gray. Similar uh, to myself. What do you think of this? Uh, that's horrible. I don't want to do oh. that. Oh. And, uh, by the way, are you into some kind of study right now? Yeah. What? Uh, I'm uh, reading The Sense of Music. What? You? The Sense of Music. Music. What's that? Um, it seems to be a uh, system of relationships, uh, analogies between beats at different uh, speeds. Oh, are you waiting for inspiration for that? For songwriting I am, yeah. That means, come on, somewhat is not an answer, so... Uh, for some things. Like, for songwriting I'm waiting for inspiration. For reading this book I'm just reading it because I should. Going back, what is it like studying music <laughs> Is that new for you? Yes. Oh, and the previously, how did you then learn music? Um, you, last time I was here, you said uh, it's important to be in the presence of beauty and music, and there is significance and sacrifice and something involved in that. So um, I m thought it was kind of worth being in the presence of music at least twice a week and so I would go and watch and copy people. Thank you. Your way of, of mastering music before yeah. was copy. to copy, right? Copy, imitate. Yeah, I play a lot of covers. Right? right? Yeah, I play a lot of covers. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So now you're actually studying music. Mm. Ah, now you have to know principles and how to read music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what is it like studying that? Um, fascinating, fun. You're having fun? Yeah. yeah. Curious. You're curious? You're having fun? Come on. Um, it's raising um, uh, questions and puzzles related to our talks here and on Saturday to do with analogy and the fourth dimension moving through the third uh, and how that model can function in music and is when you're, hey, come on now, when you were copying and imitating, were you waiting for inspiration? Yeah. 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 I was yeah. reliant on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. This copying and imitating is hoping to get that state of inspiration from those that are yeah. your model, right? Right, right, right. By the way, yeah. Uh, you must have learned something as a result of copying and imitating. Yeah. How does it compare with what you're now doing with music? Um, uh, it's... Oh, am I going to say it's a weak copy? Um, <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's not very good. It's bad. It's uh, not as fun, it's not as fast, it's you know, re right. reliant on inspiration, which you don't know yeah. where that will come from. Or yeah, where. it's hard. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah. And it's work, but you're still enjoying it, mastering it, is that right? Oh, no, this part, the learning's um, no. not, 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 so, not, not, hard, not nearly as hard. No, please answer the question now, okay? <laughs> Um, copy. We're making a comparison between when you used to copy and imitate people yeah. and now that you're studying it directly without imitating people. What's the different state of mind you're in? Oh, I see. Um, it's, 
it's one about being curious about what's there. So um, I'm re relating it to the third hypothesis in the Parmenides. I don't know anything about Parmenides. So um, that doesn't help me. It, uh, to understand it is to see what's there. And well, so to understand what is there, go ahead. Draws <laughs> seems, seems to pull me into a uh, into the moment moment more, which is a better state of mind for mu music because then you can hear what's going on to a higher level of clarity and also use your body to. Would you now conclude the difference between those two states of mind and which you find of greater value? Uh, the one of uh, learning and understanding. What? The one of learning and understanding oh. is of greater value oh. than copying. Oh. Oh. So you're having to learn a new way of learning before yeah. you used to imitate and copy? Yeah. And that was a way inspiring and you gather it and go ahead. Yeah, but now you're into a different realm, is that right? Gather it and go ahead, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What advice would you give now to someone who wanted to master music in the way in which you are now doing it, if they said to you, I'm waiting for inspiration, and uh, I can't get into it until I get inspired, what would you tell them? To find another way in. Other than? Other than inspiration. Oh, oh, oh. Um, to so in the dream, what are you doing? You're waiting for inspiration to yeah. get into a study yeah. that you're now competing with and trying to master. Yeah. And what do you think of the reason you're stuck? Because you're waiting for what? I'm uh, waiting for inspiration because... Oh, and from what you're saying, is that uh, a correct strategy to approach the study and mastery? Not of mastery. Oh, oh. Of copying. Oh. Oh. What does that conclusion do for you? Um... It, it highlights the significance of finding another way in. Uh, uh, just another way or...? Uh, another, another way to get interested. Just another way. It's not better in any way. Or... Um, well... No, uh, right. I agree. A better way of getting interested, number one. And then once I'm interested, um, instead of waiting for inspiration, um, wanting to understand what's there oh. is by far the better way and I think the connection to our analogy conversations. So, is it possible that, uh, have you ever been in this situation? Uh, uh, have you ever uh, pursued uh, women? Not effectively. What? N not very well, no. Are you waiting for inspiration? Oh, yeah. You are. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, what would happen if you decided that you might want to understand the person you're attracted to? No, I know most women, you can't understand them, according to my father. Yeah, he, he was a, known as a sage in my neighborhood. What would happen if I wanted to understand? What, what? Come on. You mean, what would happen? Is this the same problem? Yeah, it's the same problem. Same problem. Therefore, I don't try to understand or relate meaningfully to these women. Wait for inspiration. It's much better. And it's successful. 
That's right. Wanting to understand them as they are or as a, a way of understanding the nature of that which I'm attracted to as a pathologo study of myself. I don't know what you just said. Say it again. <laughs> um, you said, if, uh, what would happen if I wanted to understand that which I'm attracted to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it goes against my father's principle, but I asked you. Because that which we're attracted to is our pathologos model. I don't know about pathologos stuff. Just oh. stay on this. Oh, I see. Okay. Is it possible that you're waiting just like you're waiting on that exam and it's fruitless? Does it work, by the way? Yeah, no, I have no active agency in either situation. And no, it doesn't work. Oh, it doesn't work. Yeah, I'm waiting for somebody oh, else. Oh, that's terrible. Blame it on them. <laughs> on who? The women. They're right? all the same. Right? Yeah, stand them, stand them upside down. They all have bare feet. Hey. <laughs> Typical. Yeah. So, uh, in, in both situations, I'm waiting for an outside agency to... to yeah, that's them. true. And it's very effective, isn't it? You can wait for a long time. No, but where did this come from? Yeah, and you can wait for a long time, too. How yeah. long have you been waiting for it to work? Forever. Oh, your whole life? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's only minor. Well, hang on. So where did I learn this? What? If it's been happening my whole life, where did I learn it? Yeah, I mean, in other words, this problem of waiting for inspiration went through your whole life. Yeah. I'd like to remove it, please. Wow. Huh. What do you make of that? And I want it gone. I want to un... You want to undo it? I want to... Yes. Oh, I don't know about that. That's difficult. You can't, uh, we're not going to be inspired, you know. No, we have to understand no. it. No. No. How would you uh, suggest we go? Understanding the... By doing what? What kind of questions do you want to pursue at this point? Um, the origin scene. No, see, the question we're asking, where did you learn this? Yes. See, that's the question. And you're not yet focusing on how to get to how or where you learned it. And that's why we're now asking a different set of questions, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. By the way, um, uh, got this? That's it? Got in mind? Keep it in your mind. Okay, I'm going to ask you a question, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, who acts that way at home? Who acts that way at home? Uh, did you happen to have a mother? Yeah. A lot of people do. And a father? Yeah. And by chance, brothers and sisters? I had one of each, yeah. Oh, what does that role play in their life? Are they all doing the same thing you're doing? F feeling good and happy and no. free? Not mastering anything, but looking for that state of mind. Who represents? Is there anyone in your family? Come on. Hmm. Who represents that at some key point in your life? Hey, you ever see a mother in this state? Uh, huh? the, the floating feeling feels very anagogic. I don't... I don't hear you. What? Which one? You just got the wrong... It's the bad one. Hmm. But you saw something on this. What? Uh, you were just pointing at the wrong state of mind. You're, you're talking about the state of waiting yeah. for inspiration, yeah. right? Oh, this one here? Yeah. No, it's free. Free. Oh, free. 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 I just ask you, do you ever recall your parents ever being in this state of mind? That's all. Free 
happy, floating, flying. That's a Chinese, eh? Yep. That's all. Just curious. Um, the closest I can think of is um, my mum. Um, maybe when she's sort of uh, dismissing or making fun of other people. She's in a good state. Yeah. Like yeah, above it. yeah. 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 When yeah. When she's making fun of people, she's in the state. Yeah. Oh, actually, I remember more now. Like, if I'm starting a meaningful conversation. They'll turn around and they'll say, oh, write a book, and they'll feel really happy like they've just had and a that big moment win. she's happy. Yeah, so yeah, you know how to make her happy. <laughs> right. Tell her you're going to write a book. No, well, uh, I, I engage in a m meaningful idea, and their response is to make fun of me and say, why don't you go write a book? No, what? no, no. What state of mind was she in at that moment? Uh, happy. She was happy with herself. Yeah, she's happy with herself. Well, wait a minute. Watch. Right. She's happy with herself. Gosh. By the way, is that rare? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is a rare event, right? <laughs> this is a rare event. It's a peak experience, isn't it, for her? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she feels the most confident about herself. Yeah. Yeah, she does. Yeah, she looks real. Right? Right. As, she's, as she is ridiculing you, which is the ideal thing to do. Which is a horrible, yeah, I do that a lot. Which is a horrible thing to do, which is oh, a why? bad thing to do. You know, no, but she feels so good, it brings her out. Yeah, but it's at somebody's expense. But this is a rare occasion, right, when she does this? It's yeah, rare, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. At other times, she's uh, like what? Grumpy. Grumpy. Come on. Grumpy. Um, stressed. Right. Yeah. <laughs> this is a great moment for her. Yeah. Could you be imitating her? Wanting to get into that state of mind? Yeah. Well, she's a good teacher. It's her high point, isn't it? It's a high point in her life. Yeah. Well, I would encourage you to keep doing it. Why would you encourage me to keep doing that? Yeah. Or, or do you think there's something wrong? Well, there's a lot of things very, very wrong with that. But you're imitating her. You are? You want to get in that state that she gets into, in those great moments? I would be horrified at myself of getting into that state at somebody else's expense. Oh, well, forget that part. You are imitating, though. Yeah, I am imitating. Yeah, yeah. What do you think of that? Um, I, I don't like this. I'm, I'm not happy about this. Oh, my God. Um, I thought you'd like it. No, no. Um, <clears throat> what do I have to... I don't know. I don't know. Those things I never know. No, I don't know. No, I don't like it. No. I want no. it gone. Yeah. No. Today. No, I, I, I don't know what to do. What do you think you ought to do? Well, um... Understand. What? Understand the problem and not wait for inspiration. Oh. Oh. So I have to find out what I need to understand to have mastery on. Oh, that's easy. Them. Ever try to understand one of these? They're curious beings. They look like us in some way, but they're not. They're yeah. all weird. Yeah. Aren't they? Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. So what do you want to understand them for? <laughs> huh? Um. Not going to work. According to my father, who's a great stage in my neighborhood. You think he's wrong? So how would you understand? What? How would you understand? I don't know how you understand someone else. Maybe you have to find out something about them. I don't know. But in the same way I got into 
music by wanting to understand oh. the oh. uh, the um, uh, anagogic significance of it, uh, and I'm seeing the relationship b between ratios in the nature of each tone. Uh, is there something similar of the fourth dimension acting through the third in um, in women? That well, do you ever ask them how they feel or what they think in your pursuit of them? I know yeah. it's a rare question, but I have to ask you. Yes, I do. I, I ask, I, there's like, they're like my catchphrases, those two expressions, yeah. Say it again. Those two expressions are like my catchphrases. I use them so often. What do you feel? Oh, they use catchphrases. That helps. No, I mean, like, I, I, I use, I ask how, when I'm with somebody, I ask how they're feeling and what they're thinking so often that it's like a catchphrase. And what does it do? They run away? Sometimes, yeah. Uh, how many stick around? Not many. What? <laughs> Not many. Yeah. What? So I told you, you know, women can do a lot of things, but they can't understand. Mm. Right? They can't understand. Yeah, they can't. Why not? What? Why? It's, it's genetic. It's in the DNA and XQY and ZBT. <laughs> they can't understand why. Yeah. 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 It's an uh, Australian pygmy colony. <laughs> That's where they get it. Yeah, okay. Wait. So you now have a question. How do you try to understand someone you want to date? Is that your question? Yes. Okay, look here. It's an easy question. Miss, what would you recommend? Try to get to know them, talk to them, try to understand them, try to understand their points of view. That's strange. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. Find out who they are, what they like, what they're interested in. Good heavens. Uh, Barbara? I think also reveal himself to them. Yeah. yeah. Reveal uh, what he thinks, he? what he feels mm -hmm. to them. Now, what would you tell him? I would do just that. Talk yeah. about yourself, talk about them, ask them questions about what they're into. Have they... That's rather strange, isn't it? I'm worried about talking about myself because when you talk about philosophy or the mind, people s run screaming into the hills. Oh, well, that's helpful. You start from, from the low point. No. <laughs> it's not the low point? <laughs> no, I was just thinking that he could probably ask what they had for breakfast as a low point. <laughs> you start with that. They'd be really interested in talking about that, I'm sure. We need some better advice. <laughs> You're up. Yeah, what do you tell him? He wants to know how to understand a woman. What do you have to go through? Well, I mean, you ask them. And first, you have to understand yourself before you can share yourself with someone else and expect them to share back. I have to understand myself first. Yeah. You have to be happy and be able to have something to share with them. Yeah. I don't understand myself. Right. Mm -hmm. But aren't you struggling to understand yourself? I am. And is that something that someone would be interested in, or have you ever tried it? No. Well, somebody would. Yeah, that's true. A certain girl would. Uh, I mean, we have... Miss the way in the background? <laughs> yeah, I... I Louder? I agree, with, I agree with what... Okay, that's said. true. I don't have anything to add. <laughs> Thank you, Nancy. Um, I uh, focus on his mother first. Understand of the females he might want to understand. He might want to try to understand mom a little bit. Ooh. What do you or think of that? That's part of his exploration of himself. <clears throat> mm. I, I'm I'm worried because uh, our parents are the ones that want to keep us tied to our pathologo. So if I show an interest in understanding, I, I don't know anything about pathologo, so it doesn't help me. <laughs> what? I said he's worried that if he shows an interest in understanding his mother, what would happen? That. Should put him down. Should ridicule him. Oh. oh. Right? Right. Yeah. Oh, by the way, 
do you present a certain amount of information to the women you're interested in to, so they can put you down? Probably do. Huh? Yeah, what, what do I do? I just asked. P probably. Well, then you're acting like your mother. What? Well, you're attracted to some of these women who, when you tell them what you think, they put you down. Is that what she does? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. What? Yes. Yes. That is I'll what is happening. That is what is happening. Wouldn't that be curious? Uh, so why am I attracting that sort of person? Because I don't want to be attracted. Why not? That sort of I mean, you want to be like her? No, she's the last person. She's beautiful at that moment, isn't she? No. Hey, wait a minute. When at that moment, how does she look? She does look ab above it all, like she's floating. And over knowing. It. And knowing and happy and, caring. and happy with herself. And happy with herself. All the things that I have to be before I can be in a relationship. Yeah. <laughs> Go, Sarah. No, that's what you have to be before you be in a relationship? Yeah, I have to be happy and know myself and be confident. And Thank you. Okay. He has to be in this state in order to have a relationship. I have a relationship. I don't right. Want to... That's what you're looking for. Yeah. Yeah, that will always work. <laughs> I wish it did. Uh, <laughs> like Bennett, does it? Like have, have, have uh, an inspiration before you write something? Yeah, yeah. Something, yeah. yeah. I thought relationships were something on your way to being happy. Yeah. On your way to be. Yeah. I thought that came what do you think of What do you think of these huge people have? They're offering all kinds of good advice. I'm not. What do you think of that? Um, Especially the last point that was just made. What was the last point? It looks like you're finding, it looks like you're lucky enough to find someone who will relate to you after you tell them whatever it is you want to tell them, and they put you down. Is that similar to what she did with you? Well, then you're reliving the relationship with your mother. Isn't that fun? No, it's the least fun thing in the world. No, isn't that fun? No, it's horrible. I hate it. It's oh. The I think I hate pits. something that is so good you happy and appears to be very happy and good feeling. How can you hate that? I'm not happy. Oh. No, he's not happy. Oh. That's why he has to wait for that moment of inspiration yeah. to feel good enough Ooh. to get into whatever it is he wants to get into. Uh, wait a minute. But in his life, something has changed. Yes. You're now getting into music and you're learning a new way of relating. Huh. Mm. Oh. Is that right? Yeah. Hmm. What would be a good way to pass the test? Waiting for that state or being prepared to, to work and write? Like you are when you get into music and music theory. Right. What? To write about the person. I don't know. I didn't hear you. Uh, did you say to get into the work and write? Is it possible that the state of mind you get into when you're studying music, not as an imitation model, that that's the kind of state you should get in, in your dream, when you're doing the exam? Yeah. No, not waiting for inspiration. Okay. Curious, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. No, the dreams are curious. Yeah, well, so how do I... I don't know. <laughs> how, how do you what? How do I prevent that model from having influence over me? Oh, I don't know that. You'll just have to see yourself and see whether you want to do it or not. Well, uh, absolutely. What? Absolutely, I want to do it. Well, let's see what happens if you try to not play the game of your mother's. That's okay. You That's all. Let's take a look. scary. And you still have your problem still have because now you're going to work on it. Yeah. You don't know whether you're going to have a problem until you decide to do something different. <coughs> I've decided to do something different. I'm just unsure what that is. Well, can't... Wait a minute.
whenever you understand your problem and relate it to your past and see the connection between your problem and your past, you ain't out of the problem. What do you have to do? You have to find similar circumstances. Ah. And test it. You may not have to find them. They're going to they're going to come up. Sure. You don't have to find them. They're going to be Yeah, there are plenty. The, the problem is to recognize them. Yeah. That's the point. No. Instead of getting lost no. in them. No. But see, this is never enough. You then have to test it. You have to confirm your understanding and your experience. Why? Because you may see that you can just go ahead and that's it. You're out of it. Or you'll find new blocks which you never could have discovered had you not gone ahead and tested it out. So look here, see? He's stuck here. By testing it, he doesn't know, nor do we, if he may then have a couple of other new ones or whether he can pursue right to his goal. That's the value of the experience. When you say test it, does that, and test his understanding, does that mean go back into a similar situation and see if the thoughts come up and then he answers well, them? Well, hold it. It's theoretical understanding. You don't know whether or not you have understood the past unless you can confront an analogous situation and, and see whether it continues or it doesn't. And the image comes up again and you answer it, or the image doesn't come up at all? That's my... I want. What do you mean by testing your understanding? Like, I... Like if you were to ask me as a, if an answer is correct in mathematics, I could like plug the number back in and it would make everything work out. Like, I don't understand yeah. that exactly. Okay. I've always heard that. I'm like, well, what does that mean, test my understanding? Like, uh, It's always the same thing. Ideally, you look for analogous situations and see whether your understanding in any way changes the event. Okay. So like if so you can look, name your problem when so, it comes so, up or if it doesn't it, hold come it, up okay. at all? Or we would want to see what happens when he goes further in music, his study of music, not imitating and copying, and see what this discussion has in that of, on, on that study. More importantly, do we not want to see what happens when he goes out and tries to relate to a woman to see whether or not the same thing happens or it doesn't? That's an analogous situation. Whether he plays the role of his mother. That's right. Right, or, or sets it up so she can play the role. That's right. To One or the other. He's either going to play her role or his own role. Mm -hmm. And it, therefore, he's going to see. Therefore, he may find that he can go a certain distance into the relationship and then another problem comes up which he never expected and that's the new subject to study. Oh, uh, uh, Jed, Jed had said that um, because, you know, through our visit, he said, you know, when there's a prettier girl, he'll do it, get... Do it, hold it, do it again. When he meets a pretty girl, he'll get maybe intimidated. Is that is that right? Mm -hmm. And then he kind of shuts down. And I was making a suggestion, maybe go for a less attractive girl. And I... <laughs> oh, <that's what? laughs> oh, somebody would buy it. It's pretty or not. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> At this point, <laughs> at this point, any, any girl that you find attractive, yeah. period, yeah. that's all. There, there might be several around the place. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever met them? Have you ever met some women that are attracted to? Oh, yeah. See? It's not that rare. No, it's actually quite common. Good heavens. 
<laughs> Have a good day. Thank you. Pleasure. Uh, was there any different during the first time compared to the other time we talked about this? Yeah. What made the difference? Um, I have a strategy to move forward and I understand the process of how it works a bit better. No. No, I understand it more. Oh, uh, what do you understand now you didn't understand before? Heaps, lots. What? Um, the, 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 state, <coughs> the state of mind that I'm afraid of, um, the state of mind that I get in, I didn't even realize. Um, um, but this thing here, when you said, if this situation arises it takes it a little bit out of my hands and makes make what difference is it to see that it goes back to the way in which your mother related to you as a kid for your whole life what does that do to your understanding unifies it what unifies it oh is that minor no it's very significant oh is that a difference yeah, that's understanding. Oh, now we're understanding it. Yeah. Oh. So now I'll have that understanding with me. <laughs> okay. That's, 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 that's the difference, understanding it. Right. It, it, it is interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Understanding does a lot. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure. I thought, I thought I'd just add that at the end, you were going off and saying, I'm going to do that thing I said I was going to do. And Jed stops at an intersection to watch him go, watch you go. And you're the one that says, are you coming? And then he follows, which means that he was willing to just let you go, but you were going off and going to do what you wanted to do. He stops yeah, because can make of this. Conclusion now. Go ahead. Well, he, he stops uh, instead of going and doing what he should be doing or wanting to do. He stops and has this state of mind that's from his mother. So, if you play the game, ideally in the dream, what he ideally should be, what should he have said or done? Good. I'm going to go off and do what I need to do. That's very interesting. I think the model here is, why didn't he turn around and say, hey, Pierre, where are you going to go? What are you going to do? I want to oh, see whether it's too. worthwhile. I should go yeah, along with you. That, too. That's also... That's trying to understand. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. It's serious, isn't it? Yeah. That's one thing. I didn't say anything. Where are you? Uh, Pierre, can I ask just a quick question on, on the last dream of Jed? Um, did, did you both arrive at an answer for your original question, which is um, to what do you attribute the difference in understanding tonight? What made the difference in your exploration the other day and the exploration tonight? Oh, or did I miss it? No. I raised the difference, which is that he didn't trace it back to his mother's behavior, which uh -huh. runs through his whole life. You didn't go into which, the which whenever he presents something to her on an over level, she ridicules it, but at that moment she looks great and she looks free and she looks wonderful. And that was, uh, you just didn't go into midwifery the last time you were there? Well, we didn't do this part. Yeah. Okay. No. Mm. no. Go right ahead, please. Okay. Um, I was a famous person and own a very large property that gave tours. It might be written a little differently. So. But um, I had decided to go along on the tour to be a part of their experience and was being welcoming to all of the people. During my time on the tour, I found that it was necessary to let go of a few people who were either being rude or mean to the guests. A woman at the hair salon needed to be let go after I asked for her and everyone there to please not overbook your appointments and give more time to your customers. She was challenging my authority and needed to be fired immediately. 
as she was setting a bad example for the others. I went to my furniture store next and upon looking around had discovered that the furniture was extremely poor looking and not of the caliber that I had expected. I said to a customer, you know, I can actually use a new dinette set. While looking for just one to be what I had expected up to my standards, I found that not even one was what I had been looking for. I decided that I would take control of the situation and do the purchasing myself since the standards were poor. They were old-fashioned and unattractive. <clears throat> I moved into an, onto another place I owned within my compound of sorts and found that another employee was also acting inappropriately with the rides and letting the ride go, to, go on until some of the teens on the ride were so sick they vomited. I was very upset and asked who was in charge and responsible. At first, no one wanted to admit their fault, but finally, after I said, somebody grow some balls and man up, then a man finally admitted he had been the one responsible. I was upset and told him that he was fired and explained to him the reason as well as how much his behavior was never going to be tolerated by me. Agreed? Yeah. Right? A repeated thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again and again? Yeah. 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 Uh, what role are you playing in the dream? Um, an authoritative figure. What? More of an authoritative figure. I, I don't know. A boss, I authority, I I, 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 um, in control, uh, trying to be in control. I, I don't know what that means either. Um, if you were to, uh, have you ever watched cartoons? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what is this figure in your dream? How are they functioning if it were a comic strip? Well, they were disrespectful. That's Pardon me? Disrespectful, but that's the only no, word I can come no, up with. No, no, no. Um, mean? No. Rude? Um, Look here. A good part of our problems is that we can't picture states of mind and people who represent states of mind. You have to draw it out of them always. But if you can ever get in the habit of saying, hey, this person is acting like in literature, in drama, right, in movies, comic strips, most importantly, a good part of your problem will be over. Okay. It's all in the first paragraph. Read it again. I was a famous person and owned a very large property that gave tours. I had decided to go along on the tour to be a part of their experience and was being welcoming to all of the people. During my time on the tour, I found that it was necessary to let go of a few people who were either being rude or mean to the guests. What role is she playing? If you were to characterize that in terms of a comic strip. Hmm. Right. Am I the only one not seeing it? Okay. okay. <laughs> okay. Apparently. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. All right. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it's difficult. Yeah. Yeah. Well, say, I guess why, I, I guess I'm, why are you doing what you want to do and say only in the first paragraph? Welcoming people? No. Yeah, well, that's true, but that's not enough. Well, I wanted to be a part of the experience. I wanted to be a part I wanted to see what was actually going on. So No, no, you already know what's going on. Yeah. Well, I didn't know until I went on the tour though. Well, I guess so. I had an idea because otherwise why would no, I go no, on the tour? No, just stay there for a moment. Okay. See, we're after what kind of role are you playing at that time, Sue? Mm -hmm. Would you agree? You know what you expect. Yeah. Right? All right, all right. What do you do with what you know? I, right? uh, this is what she knows. Well, I take the necessary steps to try to rectify the situation. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, are you uh, uh, ever catch people? Yeah. Oh. 
What's that lie? You mean like in the lie or catch them literally running? Because <laughs> I can't run that fast. Come on. <laughs> um, well, to catch someone doing something they're not supposed to, um, it makes me mad. It makes me angry. I don't like it. Okay. You're watching them. Yeah. Right? Yeah. In yeah. order to do what? To catch them doing something they're not supposed to be doing. Uh, are you catching them? Yeah. Oh. So they're not pulling anything oh, over what, on what, me. What, what, what? They're not pulling anything over on me. That's true. Yeah. Because yeah, I already yeah. know, but what, I'm going in to actually handle it. Yeah. Because yeah, this is a... Yeah, yeah. My um, place is a representation of yeah. me, and I can't have that reflect yeah. on me that these people is, is are that, that way. Is that similar to a uh, cat and mouse game? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah. Similar. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what does that do to you? Um, wonder why I need to do that. What? what? Wonder why I need to do that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Yeah. 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 So, uh, watch them. Ideally, what should you do with that situation? Well, I should. Should you not? Hey, should you not get in front of those people and tell them what you expect? Yes. Right? Do you? Yes, I, I did. But when? she argued back with me. No, no. Where is that line? Here, I'll read it for you. You probably don't have a good. <laughs> you probably don't have a good copy. Oh, I did say yeah, I did. want them to not yeah. please over. Don't overbook your appointments and give more time to your customers. Yeah, in the first paragraph, it's very clear. Like, oh. Because uh, I, I thought want, I was better yeah, than them, I guess. Here it is, right? I didn't want to tell them what to expect, even though I was wondering whether or not I should lay out the code of behavior that they should follow, and if they don't. Uh, we talked about then for what we're going to do because we were thinking of ha hanging them or severing their head. <laughs> is that right? Is that, I'm, I'm, am I in the dream? No, that's not what I wanted to do. I just Did you? wanted, to, I let them go because they weren't deserving of those jobs. There's people who could do a better job. Yeah. Yeah. See, let me but I didn't want question. to take off their head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what you're doing, right? Cotton, 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 I am. Right? Yeah. Right. What's the difference between that and making a, a clear statement about what you expect from them so they know it, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then to you're among it. them? What's the difference? Well, I guess not to um, treat hmm? them as nobodies. I feel like I kind of should have talked to them first. Ah, like is this catching? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah. What's that like? I don't like it. Huh? I don't like that. Of course feeling. not. But that's why I asked. What's it like? Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah, it's... what's it in the dream, right? You're watching them. Yeah, I was. I was Yeah, what's that them. like when you're watching them, right? Here you are, see? Well, I felt like I had to be sneaky what? to catch them. I had to be sneaky. Yeah, sneaky? Yeah. Yeah, more. Um, I had to go undercover. Yeah. I yeah. was in the group. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. By the way, what am I going to ask you? Have I felt that way before? Where does it come from? Oh, uh, oh, yeah. No, my parents always did that to me. Always they did. Always me doing something. I would never have guessed that. <laughs> yeah, they nailed my window shut so I couldn't oh, leave my room. Oh, so you're following a teaching. Yeah, they nailed my window shut. And it's time to question the teaching. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Oh, I, I do, but I don't get answers. So. But in some time, hey, when this dream occurred, there was some time you didn't do it. You're doing this. Yeah. Yeah. So it must have been the night before, the day before, maybe, that you fell into this old pattern of playing cat and mouse. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, but in a different situation. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, that applies differently. So your dream is reminding you, is it not? I guess so, yeah, yeah. but... Uh, what's the but? Um, I kind of have to because I get lied to. Mm. Okay. So rather than that, I'm like, well, you're not going to pull it over on me. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. 
when your parents did it to you, how did they look? Um, mad. They were mad. Good. They didn't explain things to yeah. me. I just got yeah. smacked yeah. around. Is it a so. phony madness? Is it real? They're being upset with me? Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean, yeah? Oh, now? No. But at the time, yeah, it was horrible. They, they were, made it appear that it was real and necessary. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. did. Actually, they did. that's a very good way to raise children, you know. <laughs> you wait for them to do something wrong and then you pounce on them and say they're stupid. Uh, no, 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 no. That really, it helps the kid, <clears throat> doesn't it? No? Am I wrong again? <laughs> God. <laughs> That's a tough situation. I'd have to talk to you another time okay. on that. <laughs> okay, guys. I think I'm going to go head for the bed. Okay. Right. I feel it's.